Martin Perez, his first home game in black and gold, or in this case, home whites. He has looked good for the very first time. He uh, threw his first pitch as a bucko. Right-handers have the big edge against him. Seven righties in the lineup for manager A.J. Hinch. In the leadoff spot, Matt Veerling. Line drive to left field. Sawinski on the run. He's going to field it on one big hop. Good swing for Veerling. A nice way to start. The pitch swing and a miss. He struck him out on the sinker. And Mark Hanna is Perez's first strikeout victim. Here's Riley Green. On the ground through. Past Veerling, who hurtled over the oncoming baseball, or at least tried to. And runners at the corners for the Tigers here in the first inning. That's a Torkelson, one for four last night. Tigers need to score runs early. Get it's just been a real, they've been having a tough time all season, really. Up the middle and through. It's a base hit. The third hit for the Tigers is an RBI from Torque and a good start once again here in Pittsburgh. Urshela hitting at 370. Good career numbers against Perez. On the ground ball. Diving stop, Hayes. One and they got him. What a double play to end the top of the first. That gold glove is shining today. How did Hayes do it? Ranging far to his left, throwing accurately to second from his knees, and then the double play turned by Triolo. One nothing Tigers, bottom of the first. Casey Mize in his first start went four to third innings, gave up three runs, but there was something to build off of. Do some really good split fingers, got tons of swings and misses. And he's got a fastball for out number one. How about a 27 pitch complete game shutout? That would be great. Swinging a ground ball fair right up the first baseline. Stopping in front of Canna and that will hold Hayes to a two out single. Good at bat for Keith Ryan Hayes. First pitch is it hard off the bat of Jack Sawinski to Colt Keith. He gloves it off to the left. We go to the second inning in Pittsburgh. Tigers hold on to a one nothing lead after one. Olivares be ready for the first pitch. See yeah he's hunting heaters. There's a. Line drive to left field off the bat of Edward Olivares to the wall. Clear the deck. Cannonball coming. Eddie O with a homer. His second as a bucko, and it's 1 1. Martin Perez faces the ninth man in the order, the DH, Jake Rogers. Swing and a miss. He struck him out down and in. Three strikeouts for Perez, and the leadoff man retired here in the third. Oh, that's a nice little quick pitch right there for Martin Perez, the front door sinker to Veerling. And the payoff coming from Perez. Swinging a fly ball to left. To his left, Sawinski is there to make the final out. Tigers go down in order. Perez has retired seven in a row. Friolo in the leadoff spot today. Bounced out his only time facing Casey Mize. Javi Baez throws himself at the baseball and got him. That is an ace of a play. What a ridiculous play here by Javier Baez. Thinking that ball's way up the middle. But no, it's. El Mago showing off the glove work and the range and throwing from his knees to get his man. And this is lined to right. Yep, he's starting to feel it again. Reynolds into second with a double. Goes down and gets this split, pulls it just over Spencer Tokelson's head at first base, making its way all the way down to the right field. Clemente Wall. Detroit, here's Key Brian Hayes. And a shot up the middle, a base hit. Reynolds will score. Key Brian Hayes gives the Pirates the lead. Reynolds doubled Hayes, singled him home. That brings up Colt Keith. Oh, look at Ronnie Telez. Mr. Nimble, the cat. And Telez went across his body to glove that ball. That probably would have been a run, Joe. Really good command today from Perez. Here's a one two. Right there, strike three call back to the fastball, and Kelly just sat there with the bat on his shoulder, one out. That was a terrific front door sinker he just threw right there. Ground ball. Oh, what a play by Alika Williams. Can he get him? He does! Fabulous play by Alika Williams, robbing Baez. He's an outstanding shortstop. We saw that last year when he came up and really uh, settled that position down defensively. He struck him out. That gives him six. And Perez, a one, two, three, fifth inning. Pirates coming to bat in the bottom half. They lead two to one. Upright stands for Triolo. Middle of the infield and in double play depth. Keith up the middle. Cole Keith, nice pick. Baez, no chance at a double play, but man, you'll take the one. That is a nifty play by both of those guys. Yeah, coming into the season, everybody talked about Cole Keith's defense, that he had he was a work in progress. But take a look at this play here. He gets to this ball easily, showing off his range. Good accurate throw to Baez. That's a heck of a play. 
play there. Swing on the fly ball, left field deep. Green going back to the track at the wall. He's going to jump up, make the catch, bang into the wall, fall down and hang on. What a fine play by Riley Green. That ball was smoked, and it's the third out of the fifth inning. Wow, and that was, he robbed him. That's a homer. That was going out. Canna at third with two outs for Detroit here in the sixth. Harris, the lefty ready in the pitch. Swing on a ground ball hit hard on two hops to short. Williams gloves. The toss across is true. And the Tigers turn to side in the sixth. The hit and the man left at third. Tigers are going to the bullpen. They'll bring in lefty Tyler Holt. Olivares homered in the second. Olivares drives one to deep left field. And we've got a two homer game to give the Pirates an insurance run. It's three to one. So nice. He did it twice. Eddie O with another solo shot, almost in the exact same spot he hit the last one. When you hit a no doubter to left field here, you hit, you gotta hit it really well. Two and two on Triolo. In the air, right center field, Adam played perfectly for Veerling to go up and yank that down. Every step mattered. Great positioning. He's able to adjust his body, redirect himself, and make an outstanding grab. Canna. His career came in hitting just 211 lifetime against Martin Perez. High fly ball left field. Swinski drifts in. Underneath it, can of corn. Martin Perez, one run over eight sterling innings here this afternoon. Olivares, yeah, not ready to hit, so he's assessed to strike. It's two and one. Line drive to less than a few gap. This one's deep. This one's trouble, and that ball is caught. Are you kidding me? By Matt feeling just outrunning the ball again. I didn't get a chance. He's putting on a clinic out wow. there. Wow. 3-1, top of the ninth. Uh, two blown saves for Bednar. Picked up his first save against the Washington Nationals last Thursday. Two men have reached here to begin this ninth inning. A walk and a hit batter. McKinstry is going to pinch run for Torkelson. He represents the potential tying run. First time since the first that the Tigers have had two on. Urshela, center field base hit. Here comes one. Throw into third. Gets away. And it goes pinging into the dugout. McKinstry is coming home. The Tigers out of the clear blue have tied the ball game. Kerry Carpenter pinch hitting. In the air, over the drawn in, infield and down. A parachute that finally landed, and the Tigers have taken the lead. How about that at bat there by Kerry Carpenter? 3 1 count, good fastball count, middle in. On the ground, left side, that gets through. The hit parade continues. Carpenter scores. 5 3 Tigers. And that means O'Neill Cruz will grab a bat and get a chance to deliver a pinch hit, big hit in the ninth for the Pittsburgh Pirates. There it is. Javi Baez and the Tigers somehow, some way, get a split against the 9-2, now 9-3 Pittsburgh Pirates.